Hello friends and viewers, welcome to my video, newest video even. We are playing through and nah, the Crusader, the map is Haunted Mines, and this is like my sixth or seventh game with her or something like that. And so far I did not have a single support in my team. Closest thing that I got to the support was Tassadar, and of course they were building for damage builds, so I didn't get to test much what I wanted. So the build we are going for, and we did in the previous game that I just did, is going to be a lane pushing build. What? Look at this chat. That was that. Oh, no. Okay. So the first item that we're really going to pick is Condemn. Uh, deals 100 additional damage. That's not that important. But what is important is stuns the like the minions for four seconds. So they're basically just there to be killed. Just look at the amount of the damage they took, and and our minions are still marching on. Uh, just gonna drain that ammo. Just trying to grip maybe a little out of his tower. Let's see if somebody's here. No. no. And we can pop it again. If we manage to grip a little constantly like that and slow him up, and our while our right clicks on him, he could be in load of pain. I know why. And we killed the enemy, which is nice. I'm gonna ping that I want to enter top. Let's see if anywhere from enemy team is there. What? How, how did I miss you in a moment ago? Let's grip you back. Yeah, I gripped him real long. I gripped his cop her copy. So, I'm gonna make my way here. And this is where, like, the condemned talent is really nice. Like, get grouped up. Gonna make sure I get the seeds. And not... Oh, I, I could see a stealther coming. So let's kill their stealther instead. Pop that if I need to grip someone. And I'm gonna pop out. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. No, oh my god. Well, that was crappy. Uh, our wall is really mouthy. So the next time we're gonna pick is uh, we could go for like like max condemn build thingy or punish damage increase by fifty percent. I'm not sure. Let's stun this so our minions kind of push out. Go in. We see enemy Vala there. So let's go. Let's go with Condemn. Reduce cooldown. We're gonna blind enemy Sonya. Stun her up. Pop our shield. Ugh. Do not manage to f save ourselves. I feel like we need a healer. Just look at our seed damage, by the way. Look at that. Top in the game. By far. An enemy team, uh, friendly team, does get taken out. But we are almost again there. Oh, we can just go test again. I think they were there. Vala was low. Oh, that was Sonya. Vala is not with full HP either. If I only could get there faster! Come on, you didn't die! Just gonna unstell her Nova. So she doesn't feel comfortable coming back right away. I'm gonna get stunned. Oh, okay. 
Well, 70 golem. Skull golem. So... The next talent we want to take is... Battle Momentum. When we auto-attack, we're gonna lower our cooldowns, and since we are building for Kotham damage, it's gonna be even lower cooldown. We pick the talent where the cooldown reduces. With more targets we hit. So there really then is already at the camp. I would love if I wasn't body blocked there. So let's uh, use our condemn. It gets it grips stuff and lowers our cooldown by four seconds. So let's go and pen bottom. We could push with this golem, undoubtedly. I was doing all their builds and I was testing what they can do. This is... I changed up from the previous game, like what I was doing. And I liked the previous one game and now I'm thinking about with them even being stronger than it is. Than it was there. So... I went for that. Ooh, Illidan. Oh, no, 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 okay, he was able to flip back. Oh, sadly, okay. I was hoping that if, I was wondering, not hoping, that if our condemn gets lowered CD from shooting structure. So let's go up here and grip all of these. And basically, from 10 second cooldown, ah, I popped the wrong button. 10 second cooldown, it went back to 4 seconds. So we can just no problem kill Vala while tanking. Tower and stuff. At level 10, 10, I think, 10. We can pick up either of the ultimates. Both are great. Uh, falling swords will allow us allow us to chase down. Oh my God! Why is English so hard? <laughs> uh, falling sword would allow us to chase down the enemy heroes, but the blast shield will be. Giving us place like that to stun them and they just move out, you know. Kill them and just move out. So this is what I'm talking. If I had a healer, look at my mana. I was spamming this whole time. Like condemn is ridiculous CD for me. And I'm on half mana. And if you had a healer, I wouldn't have to go back whatsoever. Now I can build I can build the uh, my Crusader, so that I don't take this, take this much damage. But then again, I won't be doing nearly as much siege damage as I'm doing now. So, let's go get some skulls. Don't think they are coming, so just get skulls. Okay, they are coming now. Gonna ping for danger. No, I, I didn't ping for danger. But... Eh, just get skulls, doesn't matter. We are two levels ahead. Get the... Okay, let's see if we can stun up. Grip up. Use D, because they're over here, and they're focusing me for some reason. And we all go kind of down. We get the majority of the skulls already. Our friendly team is taking the middle camp, which I don't... Oh, 
enemy team coming. Let's go and try and help them. I'm on my way, I'm on my way, got my ultimate ready. Let's stun them up, let's grip them up. And that's like so close to getting all of them. We do get the camp, let's go. Oh man, she just barely got out. I just revealed Nova so she doesn't turn around the snipe. Sadly, that we do lose our two of our players there. Friendly. Friendly team players? Something, something, yeah. Okay, we defended our golem, bear golem even. Uh, Sonia, Sonia, come on, Sonia. Oh yeah, engage me. Yeah, Sonia, Pepe. Engage me. She does, is able to sustain herself. I'm just gonna let her get stunned by Diablo. I was about to use my ultimate, but Diablo used his and she didn't plan on getting out of it. So, not gonna waste mine. Enemy team might come in clumps of us. No, they're doing this. And I want to defend that. That will no, no way. No way. Ah. And nope. Friendly team did not want to go and defend what I think. So let's see. Oh, hello Vala. So let's soak up the damage from the triple tap that our Walla used. We weren't full HP, but I felt confident doing that because I had my shield ready. And now I don't feel confident at all. They have two stealthies and one is on top of me and I wasn't able to use my trait fast enough. And I got killed there. Reflexes, reflexes. So we'll be ready for the next mines and the level 16 talent is super strong, especially with the build we are going. So the blast hammer Kundam also creates... Uh, Kundam creates a spinning hammer, okay. Uh, damn, we lost a couple of our friendly players. Wonder if they are setting a gank. I don't care. I'm gonna YOLO. Go here and use that. Get out. If she feels like chasing me, it's fine by me. Okay, our team needs help. And now I'm gonna come and engage. We can we can mount up somewhere here. Cut her off. Use ultimate for absolutely no reason. Their Nova and Zera tool is dead. So I do feel confident staying here. Let me just double check. No, actually no. Is Zera tool dead? No, he's not. Zera tool is the only alive on their team and most likely he'll go for me. So I need to be extra careful. I see him. He's right there. Making his wave to me. We do. We do pop our shield as his uh, um, singularity strikes. Yeah, that's the name of his abilities. Come out. Our shield soaks up all the damage and we take what? No damage at all. And we are able to take him down. We did lose our Illidan for it, but if you ask me, 79 uh, Skull Golem and 1 for 1, that's a pretty good deal. Let's help our friendly Tychus. I'm just gonna pop my D here so I don't take any damage.
as you can see our siege damage is all right like 42k I was not laning as I as much as I was in the previous game. So I'm gonna go and try and clear the top wave. And look at this. 550 damage to every single one, and then the hammer deals damage as well. And we can use it that again, stun it again, and just take no damage and clear clear the wave. Without any problems. Otherwise, like, it takes so much time to clear the wave. Just look at that. And let's check our damage. 59k. Siege damage. And it was 42k. I'm not, um, I know I'm not helping our team at the moment, and they are, they are dying. Uh, but I just wanted to show how strong is this. Sadly, they do kind of wipe our team. Why am I tanking the tower? to try and push this as a counter yeah i know they are gonna come here yeah i know i know i know team i know i really know trust me i know and i do have the shield but but if they hit me after it expires i'm dead Still need to be backing up. I don't feel comfortable stopping and hearthstoning because of Noah. I'm just informing my mates. I am not sure if they know what my level 20 talent does. So I would like to go mines. We were kind of winning the fight so far. Let's stun them up a bit more. So I'm just gonna pop out. If they follow me, they can just die. Or we can die, actually. Oh, damn. Come on, minions. Kill Sonya. No. Eh, I wasn't doing... I didn't do a very good job there. If I had my iron skin ready, uh, I used it to try to soak up some damage from the triple tap that was going on Diablo. Oh, yeah. I should show you something at least while I'm dead, what's going on. Ariel's then doing work, getting skulls. They're gonna lose their top fort to our golem. I'm gonna ping danger that Wally is coming from there. Ah. Oh no, Tychus, no! I wanted that siege damage. So I'm gonna... Oh, hello Noah. I saw Noah. I'm gonna ping danger. With Wala, stun them. That wasn't a real. So, I'm purely, I'm purely uh, greedy now, and I want, I want to get on 
top siege damage in this game for my team. And that's the only reason I'm playing like this now. I'm being greedy. Otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. So I'm gonna keep retreating here. I'm gonna pop my shield so it absorbs all of that damage. I'm gonna ping for assist. Don't seem I'm, like I'm get it. I was dead. Like you cannot escape Illidan. Like there's no way you can escape Illidan. So I was rather gonna stand and let them attack me and I'll do some damage to them while our boss is pushing bottom lane. I'm not quite sure why we're defending this, but it's okay. We instead should have pushed with this 67 skull golem at the 20th minute mark, which is really strong. And this is pretty much GG. Did not get what they said uh, to top siege damage. But if you check our stats, we are pretty much close or on pair. I'm gonna just click to come here. Uh, with our Tychus or Wala, and they are damage dealers. We are not that far behind in hero damage either. Uh, this build would shine more with with the support where you can just stand and tank stuff more and get healed over time. Malfurion, in my opinion, would be great. Just to heal over time and blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, thanks all for watching. And remember, we'll have a giveaway. The giveaway will, no, will. The giveaway includes the hero starter pack. And the hero starter pack includes five heroes amount and if not if i'm not mistaken it's a skin let me check yeah five heroes the heroes are zagara sonya lily jane and zeratul then you get the skin for zeratul and you get the golden tiger mount uh, that mount is only available with the starter pack so all you need to do is subscribe to my videos to my channel even uh share my videos so we get to 500 subscribers as soon as possible we get more friends to watch us, to play with us, to comment and just build an awesome community. And I will be giving it out as soon as we hit 500 subscribers. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is going to pick all, all the people that commented, Use put it in a spreadsheet, and then everybody will clearly have their number. And then I'm going to use a random number generator and that person is going to get uh, the starter pack. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.